Hi, I hope you're well today. Today I've just finished writing an, an article for Elephant Journal and I've recognised how much more self-awareness and control that I have since I've stopped drinking. What it is, is I've noticed that I've spent probably, just looking at the clock, probably about three hours writing this article and doing the first draft, rereading it, editing it, reshaping it, restructuring it, and writing a second draft and a third draft. So I've spent some time on it. And I've had to really focus hard and be quite disciplined to make myself sit down and write this article. And what's been happening is that every now and then I've noticed myself getting up and making a cup of tea, going to clean the sink, getting up and going to the loo. I have managed to find all sorts of distractions and interruptions to get in the way of me and my writing, of me and the article. And the reason that I'm sharing this with you is because I want to give you some motivation and inspiration in that it's absolutely wonderful to have these high levels of self-awareness and control when you're living your life sober that you didn't used to have when you were drinking. And what I mean by that is that I've caught myself today at least six or seven occasions getting up from my desk and walking away from my writing. And each time I've done it, I've clocked that I'm doing it and I've said to myself, aha, avoidance tactic, you're trying to get away from the writing. And I've made myself go back to it again. I've forced myself to sit down and continue with the writing. And that's happened, like I say, on several occasions. And it's only because I have that degree of control and self-awareness that I've been able to recognise what I've been doing and I've been able to do something about it and I've been able to apply myself in a disciplined and focused way and go straight back to it again and get it finished. I can tell you that in my drinking days this never would have happened. A, I wouldn't have had the self-awareness to notice what I was doing and the fact that I was employing these avoidance tactics, I wouldn't have had that self-awareness. I wouldn't have recognised that was what was happening. Um, and B, I wouldn't have had the energy in the headspace to be able to take that kind of control. So I might have said to myself, right, I'm going to sit down and write this article and I might have eventually got started with it. And then at the first sign of a difficulty or a bit of writer's block or something getting in the way of that, I would have left it and I probably wouldn't have gone back to it. Or if I did go back to it, I might not have fully engaged with it again afterwards. It might not have been as high a quality of writing as I've produced today. I'm not saying that this is a majorly high quality piece of writing. I'm saying that in my drinking days, if I was battling through a hangover or um, alcohol induced anxiety and I was just battling to get through my day, I certainly wouldn't have produced anything like the quality that I've produced today. And in all probability, it wouldn't have got finished. So one of the gains to living your life sober when you've stopped drinking is that you develop a better connection with yourself and you develop this higher quality connection that enables you to become more self-aware. And the more self-aware you become, the more you notice and recognise your behaviours for what they are, the more control you have over them and the better decisions you can make. So if, for instance, like me today, you notice yourself using avoidance tactics, you can do something about that and you can make sure that that kind of behaviour and those kind of automatic reactions to things 
don't get in the way of you achieving what you want. And this self-control, this self-awareness becomes possible when you remove that barrier of alcohol. When that barrier of alcohol is in the way, it it's much more challenging to take that kind of control and to be that self-aware because all of your energy, all of your headspace is going into dealing with how you're feeling, how the alcohol's making you feel, the guilt, the shame, the hangover, the stress, the anxiety, um, and all of that. So it's much easier when you have that free headspace, that free energy to be able to take more control of your decisions, your actions, and your behaviors. If you want more tips, inspiration and motivation on stopping drinking and living life sober, you can subscribe to my channel. I'll look forward to catching up with you very soon. But in the meantime, let's go get sober together.